So hello. He's there just on top of the hedge. I can hear him. Can you hear that tweeting away? He's about that big. <laughs> anyway, hello and uh, <laughs> welcome to a Friday review or a Friday quick video. Um, I've just got a cup of tea. So looking forward to Which is quite nice. We're actually testing these new dual mics as well. So Mrs. C, Denise has got her own mic as well. So when she farts and burps, you'll be able to hear everything she's doing now, which is quite good. Um, so this is a bit of a test for these Rode mics, the Rode Go 2. But yeah, I'm here for this. I've been sent this. Now, I was out last weekend um, and a guy came over who was, who was out with us, John, and he brought over this frying pan Hark at it. That is the tiniest, <laughs> tiniest little, little bird. bird making the most noise ever. Um, yeah, he brought over this little frying pan and said, have you got one of these? And I went, no, what is it? He said, it's a ridge monkey. I'm like, what? A ridge monkey? And a young girl in a van further up, she came down and went, oh, ridge monkey. I'm like, oh, these sound popular. She obviously knows what it is. So anyway, me and, um, me and Mark, or Mike, sorry, were like, we must get one of these. And uh, so, yeah. I actually spoke to Ridge Monkey and Ridge Monkey sent me this. Um, so I'm made up. Now, this video is going to be a Compton style video. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing while we're here, <laughs> listening to this bird chirping his little head off. Um, looks like a sparrow, actually. No, it's not. A and uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you what's in the box. And then I'm going to cook Mrs. C breakfast. I'm hoping to be doing bacon. Can't wait for this one. Bacon and egg. <clears throat> Compton McMuffin, McCompton. A Mc, no, a McMonkey. A McMonkey. <laughs> We're going to do a bacon and egg McMonkey. Anyway, in the box you get this, um, some destructions. It's basically Ridge Monkey. Um, whatever it says in the dyslexic, don't do reading. You get a cover. This looks like a neoprene cover, so this is probably good to keep it in um, once it gets hot and you want to pack it away. Uh, this is the Ridge Monkey, what do they call this one? This is a Connect Compact Sandwich Toaster. So basically it's a sandwich toaster and the handles on this one, I know they do one that's solid. This one actually, the handles come separate. And I've had a quick look in the bag anyway, just to see what it is. So you put it out of this neoprene bag and uh, this is what you've got. This nice little frying pan. And to be honest, Denise Bacon. hasn't, you've never seen one before, <laughs> have you? Um, and this is what I got to see last week. It's uh, just a little frying pan, a double headed one. Inside this one, you get your two handles. And like I say, I've never actually opened these before. So you get your two handles, like so. These have got push buttons on them and uh, they obviously clip on. So let's try. So you have to push your handle in, push the button in and they clip on. So that's basically your frying pan or your bat, okay. whichever you want to use. <coughs> oh, and it, it's got a magnet as well. That was the other thing. It's got a magnet on the handle so that it doesn't come apart when you're turning it around. Also inside this one, in this little bag, we have cooking utensils. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> so you've got a little mini, I don't know how you get them out with these stumpy, chunky fingers of mine. You get a little, <laughs> little mini kid size spoon, a little mini kid size spatula. spatula. Um, I think it's supposed to be a fork, actually. A it? fork spatula, yeah, and a little flat spatula. I think they're just cooking utensils, aren't they? And a little spoon. <clears throat> um, and it all fits inside this. This is obviously what goes inside um, this tray to keep everything compact and tidy afterwards. But yeah, that's a good idea, because if, if you're camping and you're wild camping and you're taking this in your backpack, you've got something to cook with. Now, I haven't brought any oil with me, so it's going to be a bit of a test for its non-stickability. Uh, but that's basically it. And Cook I did, the bacon first. I did get hear, oh, as I was going to say, you did hear that you can actually take them apart. So you've got two little frying pans. And that was quite simple as well, because all I got hold of it was uh, it just slots together like so. So it works extremely simply. So my idea is I'm going to put my bacon in here now. I'm going to put the oven on or the grill on. No, I'm going to put the hob on even. Um, put my bacon in, fry it. You close it down, it stops all the spitting. You can then turn it over and cook both sides of it so you haven't got to take it out. And then... Or you could do my famous bacon I'm gonna then top. I'm going to then put some eggs in it, whisk up the eggs while the bacon's keeping warm, cook them a little bit, chuck the bacon back in, mix it all together, and then dump it in the bun, put the bun back in, squeeze it together and soak up all the fat in the bun. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook with it and try it out. So, uh, 
yeah. Back in two seconds when I've got the cooker ready. Ooh, wish me luck. <laughs> Chuck your beer next to your thing and then you can... Right, so the roof's up, which means I can stand up, but you can't see me, but at least you can see my hands doing all this magic cooking stuff. Denise is there, so you can see her laughing. This is some, something I do very often <laughs> at all, is cooking. Um, the light's on under there as well. So I've moved my kettle out of the way, and the first thing I've noticed is with having the handles in the van, they sit, you can't tip it this way because the handles are heavier, so you need to fill it up, otherwise it tips over. Um, but the idea with the van is you sit it on the side of the oven so it stops it from tipping. So I can lift that up. That's gonna be the simple bit. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fire it up, chuck me bacon in, I've got bacon, I've got eggs, I've even got some black pudding, which is gonna make it tasty. And I've got my pre-sliced rolls. Here we go. Then I'll just speed it up. And... Right, so we are actually cooking. I'm just gonna show you this. It's getting nice and hot now. Look at that, sizzling away inside. So the idea is you're supposed to be able to get this now and flip it over. There's no messing around. There's no dripping and leaking and stuff like that. So we just flip it over and now we're cooking the other side of the bacon. So what I'm gonna try and do with this, Denise has got this bit of a special thing, isn't you? Let's go back out so you can see her. Mm. She's got this bit of a special thing cooking, which has come from a, a Polish lady we stopped over, didn't we? Yeah. She cooked uh, bacon and then put an egg on the top. Now, I think this is a Polish thing, but it was stunning. It was really, really nice. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to actually crack the egg on the top of that. I think you'll have to get turn that, the gas down too. Get that going. Get the tips from the cook here as well. Um, it is really difficult to it sit and watch It cooks really quick, cook apparently. When, when these, the... these cook really, really fast. Um, yeah, she puts the egg on the top and just carries on cooking it, steams it sort of thing. Really, really nice. So. Yeah, I'm going to reach back in and see what's going on here. You can actually put the egg on the top now. Put I'm the glad egg on I brought the top. a cook with me, that's for sure. <laughs> this is where I make a mess. Right, one trick I learnt, don't use a knife, use a fork. Yeah. Thicker. Did you do that? Whack the egg. Use the fork to crack your egg yeah, and then spill your, it all we'll over your, your cooker. Get your pan open first. <laughs> Just jiggle your bacon in the middle. Jiggle my bacon around so That's it's it. Leave it there now. all over like that. Then yeah. we're going to crack That's the it. egg open, put that in there, and the egg's gone the other side, get back over there. That's like it, just so. leave it now and close the... Close the lid down. And that just steams And that's it. Through. Let's open this window as well, I think. Just let have a, a bit of the steam out. That's what we've got windows for. Just turn your gas down a little bit. It is down a bit. Turn it down a lot then. You can see who does the cooking at home, can't you? Look, orders going on, all the orders. <laughs> You'd be disappointed if it got burned. I don't mind, she's a burned. fantastic cook. I'm extremely <laughs> spoiled. And get me quality toilet out and sit on me toilet. This is what it's made for. So, just, do you want me to have a look at it? Yeah, <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Isn't it cooking lovely? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Right, let's get some buns out. Buns out. You having some bread pudding dumped in there, warmed up? Uh, no, I'm not. I'd, you'd... I'm going to toast the time... these buns as well. I'm going to slide that inside the bun and then I'm going to put it back inside and give it a bit of a oh, doing. Nice. Ooh, it's exciting. It does cook quick, that doesn't it? Mm. Right, so we now got to get this out with these little miniature things. I'm not sure these miniature things are going to work getting this out. <laughs> so we do need a bigger spatula for a full up. You might just be able to slide it. Oh, look Let's at have that. a look. Perfect. So we're going to get that out like so. I'm going to put that in there. Some of Bit of cooking fat, we're going to dump that on the top there. We're just going to flip that in there and just give it a bit of a, a bit of a toasting. This is exciting, isn't it? Oh god, that sun is in my face. Can you burning your retinas. Burning my retinas. <laughs> Can you see? 
turn these lights off. Yeah. I'm going for a black pudding version, full on. Now we don't normally have this sort of stuff in the breakfast, in the breakfast, in the morning when we're in the van. But like I say, I wanted to really test this Ridge Monkey out, full on, straight out the box, straight on the pan, mm -hmm. quality stuff yes. with the Comptons. Go on then, give it a flip. Give it a flip. Just flip on the other side. You know how you can do yours? Put your black pudding in the middle and put your bacon around it. And then you can plonk your egg on. Ooh, doesn't that sound good? Mm. Right, I'm going to show you what the results are. Back in a sec. So, kettle's on. One toasted mm. sandwich. Oh, God, I'm just going to put my black pudding in for a sec. Before my bacon goes in. Yeah, squidge it. Squidge it together a bit. Mm. Right, let's have a look at this. We've got some pump. This is where it's too hot. Mm, look at that. It's a bit too hot just yet. <laughs> Don't burn your mouth. Mm. That's perfect. That's a thumbs up. Mm. So, all I wanted to do was literally show how the Ridge Monkey works mm. and how you can have some simple, quick and easy breakfast. That was virtually recorded real time, so I will shorten it down a little bit and cut some of the, the rubbish out of the talking, but the kettle's now on. That'd be awesome Get the with kettle some on. pancakes as well. I've got my black pudding cooking in there. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to use this quite a bit. You can okay. do all sorts in it. Scrambled egg, you can do beans, you can do you got those pancakes, yeah, you can do chicken, burgers, bowl. pork chops, you can do anything inside this thing. It is amazing. The pancakes that you get, you know, in a bottle where you can just mm. shake it up in a bottle and then pour anyway, it in. Anyway, enough talking. I need to cook mine. See you next time. Ciao for now. Bye bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>